In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing or freezing on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on consoles such as PS5 or Xbox. So press the start button on your controller and from here we're going to go to settings and we're going to go to graphics settings. Now I recommend, especially if you have slow internet, that you turn off on-demand texture streaming because there have been cases in the past with other Call of Duty games where this has caused it to crash or freeze. So I recommend you turn that off and see if it fixes the issue. Now, if it doesn't, press the PlayStation button on your controller and we're gonna go to home. Now I want you to press the start button and we're gonna check for an update to make sure that we're running the latest version of this game, which we are, so we know that's not wrong. Now, the next thing I recommend you do is go to settings in the top right corner. From here, we're gonna scroll down and go to system and we're gonna go to system software. And from here, we're gonna go to system software update and settings. Now you wanna make sure you have the latest system software on your PS5 or Xbox. And if you don't, be sure to download it because this can always cause issues across the PS5 and your games. Now, if that's all fine, the next thing I want you to do is we're going to be going to the save file. So go to settings, we're gonna scroll down and go to save data and game slash app settings. We're gonna go to save data on PS5. Now, before you actually do what we're going to be doing, which is deleting the save file, I recommend that you actually upload your save file from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 to cloud storage. So once you've done that, you want to select your game's save files and you wanna go ahead and delete it. Now I want you to re-upload your save file and just play the game again, it'll do that, and see if that fixes the issue. Now, Let's say you're still having problems at this point. Well, it's very likely that it could be corrupted. You could try pressing the PlayStation button on your controller. You could go to power and turn off your console, unplug it from the back. This is going to clear the cache on your PS5. Plug it back in, turn it back on, and see if that fixes the issue. Now, if that doesn't work, the next step is very likely to just be deleting it. So press the options button, delete the game, delete the save file, make sure to have a backup, and then reinstall it all and see if that fixes the issue. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.